안녕하세요, 여러분. 반갑습니다. 네, 저는 피아니스트 안인모입니다. 아, 이곳 스미스 평화관에 오신 여러분들 환영합니다. 오늘 세계적인 피아노 교육자이자 거장이신 세이머 번스타인의 온라인 마스터 클래스 아, 지금 시작할 텐데요. 어, 번스타인 선생님은요, 피아니스트이시면서 피아노 연주법에 대한 어, 저서를 쓰신 피아노 교육자이시기도 합니다. 어, 저 같은 피아니스트로서는요, 꼭 한번 뵙고 싶은 그런 거장 선생님이세요. 아, 제가 지금 굉장히 설레고 또 아, 긴장이 되는 거 여러분 눈치 채셨나요? <웃음> 네, 오늘 어, 세이버 번스타인의 온라인 어, 마스터 클래스는요. 어, 세이머의 유튜브 채널과 오산시 유튜브 채널에서 동시에 공동 생중계됩니다. 어, 여러분들께서 많이 적극적으로 참여해 주세요. 아, 이곳 지금 마스터 클래스가 열리는 곳은 어, 스미스 평화관인데요. 제가 비록 온라인 생중계지만 이곳의 열기와 이 현장의 감동이 구슬하니 잘 전해지도록 애써 보겠습니다. 어, 잠시 후면 거장 세이머 번스타인 선생님과 이제 어린 학생들과의 마스터 클래스가 열릴 텐데요. 어, 이렇게 뜻깊은 시간이 마련된 지금 이곳. 스미스 평화관이에요. 오산시에 있어요. 바로 이곳에서 마스터 클래스를 개최하게 된다는 또큰 의미가 있다고 합니다. 어, 경기도 오산시와 피아노 교육의 거장 세이머 번스타인 과연 어떤 인연으로 이렇게 만나게 된 걸까요? 어, 그 사연을 곽상욱 오산시장님께 직접 들어보려고 합니다. 자, 그러면 곽상욱 오산시장님을 큰 박수로 맞아주세요. 네, 안녕하세요. 오산시장 곽상욱입니다. 반갑습니다. 아, 우리 사회자님께서 오늘 세이머 선생님에 대해서 설명해 주셨는데 바로 여러분 오늘 이곳은 바로 70년 전에 6.25 전쟁 당시에 미군 이름으로 유엔군 이름으로 스미스 부대가 참전을 했고요. 그래서 북한군과 처음으로 6.25 전쟁 당시에 전투가 있었고 그곳이 바로 이 평화의 전당 이곳입니다. 그래서 70주년을 기념해서 이곳을 한미우호의 동맹을, 동맹을 상징하는 또 평화의 가치를 담는 평화의 산 장소이고 예술의 전당이 될수 있고 또 모든 역사 교육의 현장이 될수 있도록 한이 평화공원이 전 세계인들에게 또 대한민국 국민들에게 우리 청소년 어린 학생 여러분들에게 이것을 알리고자 합니다. 그런데 세이머의 선생님께서는 피아니스트이시고 6.25 전쟁 당시에 참전 용사였어요. 그런데 피아노를 워낙 훌륭하게 연주하시니까 동료와 함께 전쟁터에서 음악회를 가졌다고 합니다. 이 음악회는 너무 유명해졌고 그래서 중공군이나 북한군도 그 연주가 있을 때는 함께 들, 들지 않았나라는 이야기도 들었습니다. 그만큼 전쟁터에서 많은 희생이 있었고 그 어려운 난국 속에서 이러한 음악회를 통해서 그들에게 휴식이 되고 또 평화의 소중함을 일깨우는 그런 역사의 현장이 있었기 때문에 오늘 그 중심에 현재 생존하고 계신 그분이 바로 세이머 선생님이시고 그분들과 또 오늘 오산의 음악을 사랑하는 또 우리 청소년 어린이 여러분들과 함께 소중한 연주회가 개최된 겁니다. 너무 놀랍죠? 박수로 한번 보내주세요. 네. 그래서 여러분과 함께하는 오늘의 이 시간은 잊을 수 없는 너무나 소중한 추억이 되고 오늘의 이 연주가 전 세계인들에게 대한민국 국민들에게 오산 시민들에게 평화의 소, 소중함을 담는 가치의 현장이 되기를 바라고 또 이곳은 앞으로 한미우호 동맹을 상징적으로 자랑할 수 있는 평화의 전당이 될 것이고 이곳은 우리 아이들에게 예술 현장이 되고 전시와 음악과 모든 내용을 담아서 
마음껏 뛰어놀 수 있는 역사 교육의 현장이 될 것입니다. 오늘 이 연주는 그만큼 특별한 의미가 있는데 함께 해주신 모든 시민 여러분 그리고 어린이 학생 여러분 어머님 아빠 함께 해주셔서 감사드립니다. 축하드립니다. 고맙습니다. 네, 6.25 전쟁이 발발하고 유엔군의 첫 전투가 있었던 곳이 바로 이곳 오산시 중미령인데요 어, 바로 이곳에 스미스 평화관이 이렇게 자리하고 있고 또 어린 학생들에게 정말 좋은 교육의 장이 될것 같습니다 어, 세이머 번스타인 선생님도 6.25 전쟁에 참전한 참전 용사지라고 하는데요 어, 많은 분들께서 놀라셨을 것 같나요 아, 저희가 준비한 영상을 먼저 보시겠습니다 You say to yourself, I wonder how I'm going to die. And then you start to think, what am I leaving behind? What do I want to be remembered for when I die? Here is the diary. Let me see. It, it's there will be something here. Wait. August 26th. This must be 1951. During our program, all hell broke loose. The howitzers spitting their rage. And the Maria rippling in the background over oh, the Ave Maria. Oh, you see? I landed in Korea on my 25th birthday. I was scared to death. They didn't tell us where we were. So awful. A waste. What are we killing each other for? What, what is the meaning of the war altogether? That life influences the way they make music. But I discovered that music influences my life. As I work at music, it makes my life much more harmonious. That was so wonderful. Seymour Bernstein 선생님의 영상을 잠시 감상하셨습니다. 자, 여러분 그러면 이제 Seymour Bernstein 선생님을 만나보겠습니다. 네, 안녕하세요, 선생님. 선생님을 불러볼까요? Bernstein 선생님, 안녕하세요. 
안녕하세요. Hello. Hello. 와 박수로 맞아주세요. 와 환호해주세요. 안녕하세요, everybody. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네, 선생님 지금. Am I am I speaking? Hello. Am I speaking to in? 네, right. Yeah. <웃음> 안녕하세요. Okay, and you were speaking. You were speaking to Seymour. Ah. Don't call me Mr. Bernstein. <웃음> 네, 네. You can call me Seymour. Seymour. Yeah. <웃음> yes. 네. In Mo, I'm in, in Mo. Mo. 네. In Mo, I have something to. To something to tell the students. Oh. All my students in New York. Yeah. Call me Seymour. Seymour. 네. 네. 뉴욕에 있는 네. Yo Seymour. 반갑습니다. 반갑습니다. 네. So now the reason is. Why do they call me Seymour? Because I'm not just their teacher. I'm also their friend. Ah, 네 선생님이 저희 친구시라서 친구 같아서 Seymour라고 부른다고 하네요. 아저저 감독님. 저도 통역. Yes. 네, 자 선생님 거기가 지금 뉴욕 저녁 시간이죠. 저녁 시간이신데 yes. 네. 선생님께서 오늘 하루 종일 오늘 온라인 마스터 클래스를 위해서 준비를 하셨다고 제가 들었어요. 저희 진행하시는 스태프분들과 여기 현장에 계신 분들도 하루 종일 아주 긴장감 넘치게 또 그렇게 준비를 하고 있는데요. 사실 저도 굉장히 설레고 떨렸거든요. 선생님 어떠셨어요? I'm very excited. This is the first time that I am giving a master class on the internet. And uh, something was discussed earlier that when I'm 92 and I pass from this earth, what is it that I wish to leave behind? And, and it, the answer did not come. But I will give the answer now. I want the students to know that one of the most important things in life is to make a contribution. And in my case, my contribution is to make all my pupils feel good about themselves. That should be translated into Korean. Oh, 네. 여러분들 학생들도 많이 잘 알아들었나요? 아, 네. 고개를 끄덕여 주네요. <웃음> 네. 네, 저희가 코로나 19 상황으로 이렇게 대면을 하지 못해서 정말 너무 너무 아쉽습니다. 어, 그래도 이렇게 온라인으로 직접 이렇게 만나 뵙게 되어서 정말 뜻깊은 시간이 될것 같고요. 좀 많이 의미 있는 일이라고 생각합니다. 어, 잠시 후면요. 거장 세이머 번스타인의 한국의 어린 학생들과의 마스터 클래스가 시작이 될 텐데요. 어, 이런 뜻깊은 시간이 마련될 지금 이곳이 바로 경기도 오산시의 스미스 평화관인데요. 어, 바로 이곳에서 마스터 클래스를 개최하게 된데또 특별한 의미가 있다고 합니다. 경기도 오산시와 피아노의 거장 세이머 번스타인의 어, 과연 어떤 인연으로 이렇게 만나게 된 걸지요. 바로 그 사연을 어, 곽상욱 오산시장님께 직접 또 들어보겠습니다. 또큰 박수로 맞아주세요. Hello, nice to meet you. How are you? Hello. 
Oh, are you speaking to me? Hello, how are you? I'm Mr. Kwak of Osan City, Mayor of Osan City. I'm very fine, thank you. Uh, are you Mayor Kwak? Yes, I'm Mr. Kwak. Oh, I'm, ve I'm, I, I'm very happy to be uh, 오늘 본 행사를 통해서 직접 모시고 만나서 이야기하고 행사를 했으면 좋았는데 코로나 19로 인해서 이렇게 온라인으로 뵙게 돼서 아무튼 아쉽지만 영광스럽게 생각합니다. 건강하시죠? I am very healthy and taking good care of myself. 예, 이곳은 6.25 전쟁 당시에 아, 스미스 미군 유엔군과 또 북한군이 처음으로 첫 전투가 있었던 중미령 전투가 있었던 곳이고요. 이곳에서 선생님과 함께 연주회를 갖게 돼서 너무나 특별한 의미를 갖고 있다고 생각합니다. It's very moving to me. That I'm returning to the place where I fought as a soldier and also performed on the front line. I gave hundreds of concerts for the UN troops. And then I played for Korean audiences. I remember a recital in Taegu. The Minhwa Theater, and the Koreans broke down the door. So many people wanted to hear me play. Korea is part of my heart, and I have returned to my life. 네, 아 uh, 그래서 오늘 첫 전투가 있었던 70년 전에 6.25 전쟁 당시 전투가 있었던 이곳에서 바로 평화관이 만들어졌고요. 또 선생님과 함께 연주회를 가질 수 있는 장소 바로 이곳입니다. 이곳에서 선생님을 만나게 돼서 다시 한번 너무 뜻깊게 생각하고요. 오늘의 이 연주가 아마 전 세계인들에게 미국인들에게 그리고 대한민국 국민들에게 평화의 소중한 가치를 알리고 세이머 선생님을 통해서 앞으로 더전 세계가 평화스러운 나라로 또 발전하는 그런 계기가 되고 또 한미 우호 동맹의 계기가 되는 그런 뜻깊은 행사가 되었으면 좋겠습니다. 네. 전쟁으로 맺어진 인연이 이렇게 음악으로 다시 이어지고 있다는 느낌이 듭니다. 어, 세이모 번스타인과 오산시의 만남이 또 앞으로 어떤 인연을 만들게 될지 기대가 되네요. 네, 자 그럼 이제 어, 세계적인 피아노 교육자 세이모 번스타인의 마스터 클래스를 어, 시작합니다. 먼저 오늘 온라인 마스터 클래스가 과연 어떻게 진행이 될지 잠시 어, 설명을 들어보겠습니다. Right. In Mo, I, I, have, I have to speak to the technician first. I cannot speak long sentences because I hear every three words come back to me. Can we stop that echo? It's totally impossible for me. Now is that can you No, not good. 네, 네, 알겠습니다. It just came back to me. No, not good. No, not good. Uh, uh, it's an echo. 네, 네. 네, 네. How can I explain? Ah, uh, 네. Uh, I have to do it anyway. 네. 네. 예. 
아, 네, 그러면요. 그 지금 뉴욕 상황은 조금 뉴욕에서 어, 현장에 스태프분들이 또가 계세요. 네, 스태프분들께서 조금 해결을 해 주시고요. 저희는 먼저 오늘 마스터 클래스가 먼저 학생의 연주를 들은 후에 선생님의 지도를 받는 형식으로 진행이 될 텐데요. 저희 오산시에서 사전에 오디션을 진행을 했어요. 그래서 최종적으로 4명의 학생을 선발을 했는데요. 저희가 더 많은 학생들과 함께하지 못해서 정말 아쉽습니다. 어, 먼저 학생들의 이 연주를 연이어서 들어보고 나서 한명한 한 명의 그 레슨이 시작이 될 텐데요. 학생들 4명의 한명한 한 명의 연주가 시작되고 끝날 때마다 여러분들께서 큰 박수로 이렇게 응원을 해주시기를 부탁드립니다. 네, 세이머 선생님께서는 먼저 학생들의 연주를 그러면 now, 감상을 해주세요. Let me explain. 네. Let me explain 네, 네. how that's going to work. Usually, in the master class, the first student gets it, it plays for the teacher. Oh, this is very good. They stop the echo. Now I can talk naturally. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Usually <laughs> in a master class, there are three or four students who have to play. And when the first student plays, the teacher spends all the time on that first student. And what do the other students do? They're not listening to anything that the teacher is saying because they're only thinking, I hope I remember the first note of my piece. So this is very cruel punishment. So when I give a master class, all the students play like a recital and when they're all finished they have no more nerves and they participate in the master class so we're going to start right away with uh, with wu rim and she's going to play the schubert impromptu in b flat now we not only want to hear how the students play, but we want to see their stage appearance, especially how they bow to audience applause. So, Wurim, you may now play your Schubert. 네, 박수로 환영해 주세요.
우리 앞에 나와서 인사해 주세요. 인사해 주세요. 아, 네. 네. 이우리 막상의 연주 잘 들었습니다. 고맙습니다. 네. 네. 다음은, 어, 초등학교 5학년 12세 박미래 양이 연주할 프레데릭 쇼팽의 즉흥 완상곡 판타지 인프룸트 오퍼스 66의 연주를 들어보겠습니다. 큰 박수 쳐주세요. 
네, 박미래 학생의 연주 잘 들었습니다. 고맙습니다. 네, 다음 무대는 초등학교 5학년 12세 김하람 학생입니다. 연주해 주실 곡목은 베토벤 소나타 17번 오퍼스 31의 2번의 일악장 템페스트의 일악장입니다. 
네, 연주해 인사해 주세요. 네. 네, 연주해 준 김아랑 학생 고맙게 잘 들었습니다. 네, 마지막으로 서울예술고등학교 3학년에 재학 중인 김경석 학생의 연주를 들어볼 텐데요. 연주할 곡은 브람스의 소나타 오퍼스 5 3번 어, F 마이너 1악장 연주를 들어보겠습니다. 앞으로 나와서 인사해 주세요. 네, 박수로 환영해 주세요. 네. 네. 
아, 네, 네. 어, 이곳으로 학생들의 연주를 모두 들어봤는데요. 어, 오늘 세이모의 온라인 마스터 클래스는 어, 세이모의 유튜브 채널과 오산시 유튜브 채널에서 동시에 생중계되고 있습니다. 어, 선생님께서 이렇게 큰 화면으로 정말 거장의 모습으로 이렇게 지켜봐주고 계셔서 우리 학생들이 정말 긴장되고 떨렸을 텐데요. 많이 떨렸죠? 어, 네, 그래도 이렇게 용기 내서 침착하게 연주를 잘해줘서 정말 고맙습니다. 아, 세이머 선생님, 어, 이 학생들의 연주가 잘 들리셨나요? Yes, in no. 아, 다행입니다. 네, 자 그러면은 오늘 연주를 yes. 한. Now, would you have all the students bring their chairs closer to the piano? Move closer to the piano. 네, 의자를 들고 학, 학생들 의자를 들고 여기 조금 더 가까이 올까요? 네, 마치 선생님의 방에 있는 것처럼 이렇게 가까이 갈까요? 네, 네 피아노 좀더 가까이 가요. 네, 여기까지 이렇게 나가. 아주 가까이. 한 명은 요, 요쪽에. 네, 아 좋아요. 네, 네. 아 연주를 한 순서대로 어, 세이머 선생님의 지도를 받겠는데요. 어, 이유림, 어, 박미래, 김 김하람 그리고 김경석 학생의 순서대로 마스터 클래스를 진행하겠습니다. So I want to ask the students how they felt about their performance. So we'll go for first we'll go with Wu Rim. How did you feel about your performance of the Schubert Impromptu? 엄청 떨렸어요. 네. Okay. It, do you think that it's wrong to be nervous? 어, 그, 꼭 그런 것만 아닌 것 같은데. You, you're in very good company because all the greatest performers always suffer from nervousness. In Mo, are you translating? Ah, uh, uh, 지금 다 알아듣고 있죠, 학생들. 네. 아, 네, 다 알아듣고 통역을 다 듣고 있어요. Oh, it's already. Oh, I understand. 박미래 학생이 안 들. So can I continue talking? 네. So now, 네. being nervous is a sign of responsibility. If you weren't responsible, you wouldn't be nervous. So being responsible makes us worry. I hope that I'll be able to do what I really practice to do. And the more we practice, the more we get deeper into the music and deeper into ourselves. And the only way to get over getting nervous is to perform in front of people as often as you can. And eventually, you will be able to play wonderfully in spite of your nervousness. But you will never get rid of your nervousness, I'm sorry to tell you. That's the way performers are. You have to be able to take that as a sign of being responsible. So now, can I speak to the next person, the next student? Mireille, how did you feel about your fantasy impromptu? Uh... Mireille, were you nervous? No. <laughs> okay, but now you're, now you're not nervous, right? All the playing is 네. done, and we can talk comfortably and learn something from each other. So, how did you feel about your playing? Oh, 속이 엄청 후련하고. You're relieved that it's over. 네. Did you feel that you played as well as you can? 네. You, well, that's a wonderful thing. 
I have a question to ask you. Do you always practice without the pedal? 어, 페달을 밟고 연습할 때도 있고 페달을 전혀 없이도 연주합니다. 연습합니다. Okay, but I noticed at the beginning of the piece you didn't use the pedal. 네. The bass sounded instead of like this. It's an. 네. So you have to. We're going to work on it later, and make it sound much more beautiful. 네. 네. So now, I want to ask uh, uh, Harim. How she feels that she played. <laughs> you didn't enjoy it. <laughs> she didn't enjoy it. All right, so now, so all the students are nervous, yes? Now let's speak to Kyung Suk. Turn, 아, 네. put the microphone to Kyung Suk. Kyung Suk, were you nervous? 여기 쳐다봐. 놀라지 않았습니다. Oh well, that's wonderful. You didn't sound very nervous, and you played brilliantly. How did you feel about your playing? 아 부드러운 것도 생각하고 그 다음에 약간 그좀 세는 부분도 좀 있었습니다. 그 포르테였다가 you thought that you thought that you played too softly. 그런 것도 있고 부드러운 거에서 세는 것도 해서 세는 걸로 변, 변하는 것도 큰 차이도 좀 있었던 것 같습니다. 네, 부드러운 연주와 센 연주를 잘 표현한 것 같다는 얘기인 것 같아요. 네. So, Kyung Suk, my feeling about your playing is that you have to concentrate much more on your soft playing because everything was too loud. Isn't that interesting? You felt that you didn't play loud enough, and I felt that your playing was too loud all the time. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. We'll discuss it later when you go to the piano. Now, um, in Mo, 네. 네. In Mo, I would like each student to go to the piano, and we're going to discuss how to play the first note of the piece. 네. 네. So the Schubert, Schubert, Miss Schubert, 네. go to 네. the piano. 네. 네. 네, 첫 음을 어떻게 내는지에 대한 어, 수업을 지금부터 할 거예요. 네, 가장 첫 음을 어떻게 내는지에 대해서 이야기해 주실 거예요. The first note of, every, of any piece for the rest of their lives. Tell them for the rest of their lives. Okay, so now we have to set something in motion. Isn't that true? Can Miss Schubert tell me what are we setting in motion? Let's start with the key. We have to set the key in motion, correct? Is she following what I say? No. The key has to go down at a certain rate of speed, correct? Correct? Mm -hmm. 
네. Okay. What else is set in motion with the first note of the piece? What else in the piano is set in motion with the first note of the piece? 네. 첫 음을 낼때 어떤 감정을 실어야 될까요? 어... The hammer. The hammer has to go to the string. Yes. So, Miss Schubert, Miss Schubert, when I lower the D, when the key goes down, the hammer goes up to the string and makes a sound. How do I play softly on the D? Can you show me how to play softly on the D? 다시 한번 연주해 볼게요. 누르는 순간 햄머가 올라오니까 그거를 느끼면서 연주해 볼게요. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. We only want the D. Only the D. All right, so now this is, I have to teach all the students, please pay attention. According to the law of science, when you set something in motion, you have to have a preparatory swing. I would like Inmo, Inmo, all the students should stand up and hold an imaginary ball. Mm. Oh. Pretend that there's a in Mo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretend that there's a ball in their hand. Yeah. And when I count three, I want them to send the ball to the other side of the room. Oh. Watch me, watch me. Watch me, please. Please watch me. In Mo, have the students watch me. Watch. One, two, three. In order to throw the ball forward, I had to go back. All right, now ready? Students? One, two, three. Throw the ball. <laughs> The ball isn't going to go anywhere because she didn't go back first. Mm. You have to go back to throw the ball. 뒤로 좀 이렇게. One. 네. 네. Ready? 네. Ready? 네. 자, 뒤로 One, 좀 two, two, three. Go back and throw the ball. All right. Now look. Everybody look at the keyboard. I'm demonstrating. Can they see my hand on the keyboard? I'm going to lower the D. First, I have to go up. And if I want to play louder, I go up faster. And if I want to play louder, I go up even faster. And if I want to play softly, I go up slowly. So when the fantasy impromptu plays, those notes are loud. So now I prepare my fingers on the key and swing up fast. Swing up and fast. Okay, so now we come to the Beethoven Sonata and it starts piano. We put both hands on the keyboard and first the left hand goes up and now the right hand. Now faster. And now we come to the Brahms Sonata. The first note is forte. So Kyung Suk, go to the piano. Kyung Suk, go to the piano. Mm. 
Put your left hand on the F. And with a low wrist like this. See my wrist low? Low? No, low. Yes? Now watch. Put your foot on the right pedal. And watch me. Swing up and down. Right, 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 right. Okay, now go back to your chairs. Go back to your chair. Now, Miss Schubert, please go to the piano. And here is what you have to learn to do. The left hand has to float. Look, look at my hand. It has to float without any pressure. And the right hand has pressure. See? So now, Inmo, 네. will you do me a favor? 네. Hold your hands out like this. Put the microphone down and hold your hands out like this in front of Miss Schubert. Now, Miss Schubert, stand up. Stand up. Now, put place your right hand in, in, in Mo's left hand. Put your right hand in the... In, yes. Yes, and the left hand, yes. Now make the left hand float. In Mo, lift it up and make it float. That's right, that's right. And now press, press into the other hand. Press your right hand into her hand. In Mo, you feel the pressure? You feel her pressure? And the left hand is floating. Correct? Okay, now go to the piano. Go to the piano, Miss Schubert. I'm going to demonstrate. Look, my right hand is going to go pressure, and the left hand is going to float. Here, this is pressure, but I can't put pressure on every note. So do you see the two dots? Here's a note, and here are two dots. The dots have to float. Okay, so now watch. The left hand is going to do this. No pressure. No pressure. Left hand alone with the pedal. Left hand alone. Left hand, please. All right, stop, stop, no, stop. Miss Schubert, whenever there's a left hand, the bass is always louder than the other voices. Bass, bass, not, but, see, so if there's a Chopin nocturne, If I don't do that, 
it's going to cover the melody. Listen. Hear what's happening? That's not good. So now, here come. Left hand floating. Let's hear you play. Good, good, very good. Very good. Now add the right hand. Add the right hand now. No pressure, pressure. Pressure on the D. No, not enough, not enough. Okay, now stop now in stop now listen here, honey. Every note is the same dynamic. In Mo, this is very important for her. She has to listen carefully. Listen. Less. 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 Yes, so she has to play with dynamics. The students have to know something very important. Are all the students listening to carefully? In order to play really softly, do not press the key all the way to the bottom of the key. Only press the key halfway down. Look, look. Halfway down. See? Not. But. Let me hear you do that, honey. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. All right, now, there's one last thing to tell her. In music, almost all the time, if there are four measures, the third measure usually is the loudest. It's not always, but usually. Here's an example. Watch. One. Two. Three. And four is the softest. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> now, lots of music does that. The Chopin uh, uh, Fantasy Impromptu does that all the time. So I want her to do that, please, to go to the third measure, the loudest. Oh, yeah. 세 번째 마디, 네. 여기서도 좀 크게 해주고 작아지게. 네, 다시 할게요. 네. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Now, when she played the third measure, the loudest, not with the left hand, oh. only with the right hand. Understand, honey? Yes, sir. Okay, so now we can't work any more on this because I only have limited time for each student, so we have to go to the Chopin now. Okay. Yes, 
And I would like Ms. Chopin, I would like Ms. Chopin to play this melody like it was a slow nocturne. Okay, now that's not that's what's not good, darling. It's not good because every note is the same dynamic. You look, look at my hand. Look at my hand. See, that's vertical playing. Now, now take your hand up like this. Hold your hand up like this. Hold your hand up like this. Imagine that you're holding a key. Hold the key. Hold the key in the door. Put the key in the door. No, you don't hold the key like this. You hold the key like this. Holding the key, imaginary key, come. Now turn the key in the door. Turn the key in the door. You see this twist? Look, look here. See this twisting? That's called rotation. Now, if you don't play Chopin with rotation, it will never be beautiful. Watch me rotate. Please watch, watch. I'm going to exaggerate. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> now wait, now look, now give this up. Give this up. Not allowed to do that anymore. Look, look. <laughs> give, give that up. Come on. There you go. Not. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now put the pedal on and play like this. Let's go like that. Come on with the pedal. So now, remember what I told Ms. Schubert about four measures. The third measure is going to be the loudest. One. Two. Three. Okay, now here come, come, three, 
this is the loudest note here. And then the softest. Now listen again, listen again. Now, do you hear? I'm making a diminuendo. Diminuendo. All right, now, this is new information for the students. Now, pay careful attention. Can everybody see this mark when I'm holding up my hands? Can they see this? All of these marks like this, we call them hairpins. In Mo, what do you call this in Korean? These brackets like this? Crescendo and diminuendo, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, in Mo, in Mo, this is startling information, starting, 네, with the romantic 네. period, starting with the romantic period. Mm. They no longer mean crescendo and diminuendo. They mean tempo change. Mm. Mm. So when this appears in the music, this mark, it means rubato. See a little rubato. See, so now look here. I wrote a book about this. Look. See this book? Yeah, yeah. It was published by a Korean woman. Mm -hmm. by the name of Dr. Song. 네네. And she's here, and she's going to give each one of you a present mm -hmm. with my book. And this is going to explain how to interpret those bracket signs. So, mm -hmm. Song, are you here in the audience? Mm -hmm. She 네, said she 계세요. was coming. 네. Is she here? 네, 네, 네. Does she have the books? Ah, 네, 가져오셨어요. 예. Okay, so she's going to give each one to the students. Ah, 감사합니다. <laughs> 네, 책 감사합니다. 네. Oh, 처음이네요. <laughs> I would like. <laughs> I would like Miss Chopin now to play the beautiful middle part of this piece. From here. Let me find the middle part. Right here. Now start with a full sound. Now less crescendo Now when we're pianists we play a long note and it dies Hear the note dying Listen can't help it, it's going to die. Oh. So when a note is going to die, we have to decide, do I want it to die or do <laughs> I want it to make a crescendo? This one is going to die. This one is gonna make a crescendo. Now how can I make a crescendo? 
crescendo on a note. Look, look. No, I can't look. Look at me. Nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to make the crescendo with the left hand on that F. Now I'm going to demonstrate, and then you're going to do it. Crescendo. Now let me hear you do that. Ah, uh, just have Okay, now now look here. Stop. Now you're sounding like a beautiful pianist now. But now why did you take the pedal off here? Why are you doing that? It's all legato with the pedal. Everything is with the pedal. See, you can even leave the pedal for the whole first measure. Listen. Pedal, 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 pedal. Let me hear you do that. No, you didn't pedal, honey. This is not legato. That's no way to pedal. Can I hear you play this measure? Pedal. Pedal after the F. Pedal after the E flat. Let me hear that measure. Okay, left hand alone. Legato. No, left hand alone, left hand alone. No, 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 in Mo, in Mo, she doesn't know how to pedal legato. Oh, yeah. oh, so I have to teach her. I have to teach her. Look here. Now, don't lift the pedal until you hear the F. Now lift. Now, don't lift until you hear the E flat. Lift. No, she's lifting before the note. Better, better, better. No, listen. I only want her to play the thumbs. Listen. Just the thumbs. No, only the thumbs. No, 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 honey. It's only it's the thumbs. Thumb. The thumb. 
No, it's the thumb, only the thumb. Okay, now pay attention. Watch me, watch me. Fold your hands like this. Look, look, look. Fold your hands and keep the pedal down. Chopin, you just learned for the first time how to pedal legato. So you learned a lot today. That's good. I'm very happy that you did that. Okay, so now we're going to go to Beethoven. Now, largo, the word largo is a very serious word. It not only means very slow, but it means profound. So look, I'm going to demonstrate how to play the opening of this piece. Pay attention. Soft pedal, right pedal down. That's how it's going to begin. Watch again, watch again. Let's hear. No, no, listen, listen. See, all the three notes were the same loudness. And I'm doing this. And now I'm going to go very soft with an upstroke. Can I hear you do this, honey? Touch the note and go like this. Very good. Okay, so now let me hear you do the left hand alone. Okay, so now we're not going to make any crescendo 
in the left hand because the right hand See, I'm going to ruin the right hand. Listen. See what the left hand makes the crescendo, the right hand, it just gets covered up. So listen, no crescendo in the left hand. So let's go. No dynamics in the left hand. Let's go. Come. Yes, okay, now we're going to pedal each note. Pedal, 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 pedal. Pedal, 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 because pedal, 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 pedal. We don't, we don't want that. We went. We want legato, right? So. Pedal, 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 pedal. Let's hear. Okay, and you don't know how to pedal legato either. <laughs> You're going like this. And I'm going. Listen. See, I don't lift the pedal until I hear this note. Until I hear, let me hear slowly. Up, down, up, down. Let me hear legato slowly. Slowly like this. No, honey, honey, when you lift your hand, the pedal does not go up. When you lift your hand, look, look at me, the pedal's down. It only goes up when you play the next note. Let me hear you do it. No, 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 no break. No break. In Mo, in Mo, in Mo, I noticed that that's a common. Uh, error among most of the students. 네, 아, 네. 제가 they 말씀을 어, 네, 제가 말씀을 they, 드릴게요. They don't. 아, 아직 어린 yeah. 학생들이라서 어, 아직 어린 학생들이라서 yeah. 이 렉. No, it has nothing to do with age. Oh, ah, 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 no, 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 stop just a moment, please. Miss mm. Schubert did it perfectly when she did this. Look, fold your hands. Mm. Play the first note and fold your hands like this. Look. No, the pedal should go down. Keep the pedal down and fold your hands. Now don't move the pedal. Don't move the keep the pedal down. Look, look. The pedal.
pedals down. Now, when I play the D, it's going to go up. Let's hear. Fold your hands. Come on. Come on. Correct. Correct. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Okay, now look, I have to tell you something. This is all right. But you can do this too. You can do that too. You should try both ways. I think this is better. When you go home, you can try it tomorrow, okay, honey? Now look, turn to this place here. This is a Beethoven long pedal. Now this never happened before in music. Listen. Now, there was a pianist by the name of Edwin Fisher, and he called this place a voice from the tomb, from the grave. <laughs> it's very, very serious. And that's an original Beethoven pedal right through the whole thing. Okay, so that's all the work we're going to do on this plea piece, honey. I think you'll be fine if you correct your foot. You're pedaling, all right? So now we're going to have the Brahms. Glass of water? I can bring some water if you want. No. It's okay. <laughs> I don't need any water. I'm fine. <laughs> Kyung Suk. <laughs> Kyung Suk, you are a you are a brilliant pianist. Oh. Now look here, I have I have something important to tell you. <clears throat> Do you see the forte at the beginning of the piece? You see the forte? What does it mean? Say it. Uh, now, the, now, the dynamic at the beginning of the piece means only one thing. Yeah. It doesn't mean that that first note is that dynamic. It means, generally speaking, the opening of this piece is loud. But it doesn't mean that every note is going to be the same loudness. So now look here what's happening. Look here. One. Chromatic. Chromatic. 
traumatic. Now the biggest. The biggest. That has to be the loudest note. So if you start like this, you can't reach the climax. So I would like you to do this first. Look here. So those last chords are a triumph. Mm -hmm. And don't play them in rhythm. Take time and play lots of time over here. Lots of time. So come. Mezzo forte. Forte, fortissimo. Now let me hear you do that. Just this. No, 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 I want you to do this. Listen, listen. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Until you reach the climax. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 Now put your pedal down on the C. Keep it down and never take it off. You don't have Right, now start softer. Now loud. Let's go. Start mezzo forte. Mezzo forte. No. Young suck. No. Suck. Stop. Mezzo forte is not so loud. Play softer when you begin. When you play these chords, these chords take time. Don't do this, but take time. Once again.
bravo, bravo, bravo. Now, see, that made a very impressive introduction. What is that called, Kyung Suk? Rubato. When you took time, Rubato. it's called rubato. Rubato. And rubato is part of romantic music. Now something very interesting is going to come. Right over here, very interesting. See, it says tranquil. It's not the same tempo. It's a totally different tempo. Now, now look, I'm going to count it. One, two, three. One, two, three. But it does, it's not that. This is how it's counted. Watch carefully. One, two, three. Now the three is spread over two measures. That's called, uh, in, Mo, in English, it's called a hemiola. Do you have that in Korean? Hemiola rhythm is not in Korean. We do hemiola rhythm. Yes, because Brahms loves hemiolas. So instead of two bars e making one, two, three, one, two, three, now two bars equal one, two, three. So we're going one, two, three. So the pedal does this one, two, three. Can I hear Kyung Suk play the left hand alone with the pedal? Pedal. 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 Bravo, bravo. Now we hand together. Here, look. Now here he writes it out. One, two, three. See here he writes it out. So let's go now from here. Now the climax is going to come. Climax. So let's hear you reach that climax now. Yes, now that was very good, but too fast. See, it's not the same tempo at the beginning. Try to play it 
as, as a very sad statement. See, you're going, see, you're pushing it on. Have that feeling, Kyung Suk, now. Try. You're a very deep boy, so go deep into yourself. Okay, so now please turn to the second page and notice that there is a sign that says crescendo a sustenuto. Find those words for me. Did he find them? Yes, okay. Now, now Kyung Suk. Kyung Suk, every time you see the word crescendo, it means piano. <laughs> the word crescendo is like a So the word crescendo means piano. And if he and if he doesn't play piano, there won't be any crescendo. Does he understand? So see, he's oh, he's always concerned about playing loud. And he should learn that in this piece there are a lot of piano places, soft places. Every time the word crescendo there is, is appears, he has to play like a little pussy cat, very gently. So now, what does sustenuto mean? What? Sasunuto means slower. So now this whole line, look here, this is very important because he completely did this incorrectly. This line does this. getting slower and slower. So now, by that time, it's already slow. See? It's getting slower and slower. Look. By that time, it's already slow. Can I hear him do that line for me now? From here? Piano? Then slow? See, it's all slow now. Let's hear that line.
No, 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 stay slow. You sped up the tempo. Stay slow. Start again. No, 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 this is fast. Fast, fast. Now slow. It's gradual, gradual. No, no, fast, please. In Mo, he's playing twice too fast. 네, 아직도 on 너무 빨라요. 네, 네. Tell him to slow down on those measures. 자, One more time. 네. Bravo, 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 no, this is wonderful. Listen, if he does those things, he's going to have a splendid performance. So that's all the time that we're going to spend on the master class. And now, um, in Mo, uh, I have to pay, play a tribute. Ah, ah. 네, 아, 선생님께서 오늘 여러분들을 위해서 직접 라이브 연주를 해주신다고 하는데요. 아, 혹시 무슨 곡을 연주해 주실 수 있지 아실 수 있을까요? I'm going to tell you. 네. How many students saw uh, uh, um, Ethan Hawke's documentary on me? Did any of the students see the documentary on me? It played all over Korea. Okay. One of the students saw it. I see. Now, in the documentary, there I play a Bach piece. It's from a cantata, and the name of the cantata is God's Time is Always the Best Time. Please translate that into Korean. 네, 네, 신의 시간은 어, 항상 최상의 시간이다. Yes. Yes, and so it's out of print, and hundreds of Korean students wrote to me where they can buy this piece. So I made my own <laughs> arrangement of it. Look, here it is. I made my own arrangement ah. of it. It's published. And Jin Young Yang is going to send me the email 아, of all 네. the students and I'm going to email it to 아, you. 네. 아, 감사합니다. 아, 네, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 저 처음하네요. So now I'm going to play it for you and this is my farewell to you 네. because I'm dedicating this to all the people all over the world who died in the Korean War and also dedicating it to the, the relatives of the people who died and the friends. And it's my uh, honor to be able to do this, to dedicate one of the most beautiful musical examples 
to the memory of all these people. And if they didn't die, then Korea would never have risen out of the ashes of the war into one of the most formidable countries in the world. So as a soldier, I feel privileged to have participated in that. And I want to say farewell to everyone with one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever heard. 네, 저, 저희가 박수로 먼저 어 잠시만요. <웃음> 네, 선생님의 연주에 대한 가, 감사로 박수를 먼저 좀 해, 쳐드릴까요? <웃음> 네, 너무 너무 감사합니다. <웃음> 아, 아, 네. 아, 네. 세이머 선생님의 연주가 아, 정말 이 잔잔한 선율 속에서 정말 평화의 메시지를 전해주신 것 같아서 눈물이 날 정도로 감동적입니다. 네, 오늘 이렇게 세이머의 온라인 마스터 클래스는 세이머 유튜브 채널과 오산시 유튜브 채널에서 공동 어, 진행이 되고 있는데요. 
아, 저도 피아니스트로서 오늘 온라인 마스터 클래스에서 선생님께 정말 많은 것을 정말 배웠어요. 우리 어린 학생들에게도 좋은 정말 기억에 남을 만한 좋은 추억이 좋은 수업이 됐을 것 같습니다. 아, 오늘 연주를 해주신 세이머 번스타인 선생님께 어, 시청을 지금 하고 계신 분들께서도 따뜻한 댓글을 꼭 남겨주시기 바랍니다. 어, 방금 연주해 주신 곡이 바흐의 칸타타 어, 어, 신의 시간은 최상의 시간이다 라는 이 곡의 제목처럼 어, 우리가 지금 함께하고 있는 이 승, 순간, 이 시간이 정말 최상의 시간이었던 것 같습니다 여러분들 어, 선생님께 다시 한번 감사의 박수를 꼭다 같이 해줄까요? 네. 네. 아, 네, 이렇게 번스타인 선생님을 모시고 어, 비록 대면을 하지는 못했지만 이렇게 온라인으로 선생님의 방 안에서 따뜻한 조명과 함께 이렇게 함께 할수 있어서 정말 너무너무 행복했습니다. 어, 아쉽지만 이제 마쳐야 할 시간인데요. 어, 오늘 함께, 함께한 이유림, 어, 박미래, 김가람, 아, 그리고 김경석 학생 모두 모두 수고 많았어요. 우리 다 함께 일어날까요? 네. <웃음> 네, 일어날까요? 선생님께 너무너무 감사하다고 인사를 할게요. 선생님 감사합니다. 항상 건강하시길 바랄게요. 감사합니다. 인사할까요? 네, 선생님께서 혹시 또 하신 말씀 있으시면 저희께 한 말씀 더 청해도 될까요? 어, oh, are you speaking to me? I didn't hear. Please tell me again. Yes, I want to make a, a, a very important remark. I want to tell the students why they're studying and practicing music. In order to practice music properly, you have to understand the emotional message that the composer is projecting to you. You have to also figure out intellectually what all the marks on the printed page mean. And then you have to make a physical connection to everything that you feel and think. Do you realize how powerful that is? your emotional world, your intellectual world, and your physical world. As you work on it musically, it's going to affect you personally. So the serious study of music can eventually make you into a harmonious, functioning human being. So never give it up. It doesn't matter if you don't have a career. Just keep on practicing your music because it will nourish you as a person, not only as a pianist. 정말 학생들에게도 좋은 말씀 이렇게 해주셔서 감사합니다. 자 여기 저희 오늘 이 온라인 마스터 클래스 어, 세이머 선생님께 작별 인사하면서 마치겠습니다. 선생님 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <웃음> 감사합니다. 네, 오늘 정말 특별한 수업 어, 세이머의 마스터 클래스 온라인으로 진행이 되었는데요. 어, 사실 이게 전쟁에서 이어준 이 음악으로 이어준 이 시간 동안 어, 전쟁과 평화 또 음악과 인생. 배움의 시간 또 어, 세대 간의 이어짐 이런 많은 것들을 생각할 수 있게 하는 그런 어, 시간이었던 것 같습니다. 어, 전 세계에서 함께 시청해 주신 여러분들 그리고 이 자리에 함께 계신 여러분들 네 그리고 여기 학생들과 어, 시청해 주신 많은 분들께 어, 진심으로 감사드립니다. 여러분 감사합니다. 건강하세요.